Welcome back, everyone. It has been just more than a year since the historic start of retail marijuana sales here in Massachusetts. The first purchase being made right here in Western Mass at New England Treatment Access, NETA, of Northampton. Now cities and towns with regional sales are starting to see the benefits. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers is getting answers on what that extra money is now going towards. November 20th, 2018, a historic day across the Commonwealth as Northampton Mayor David J. Narkowitz made the first retail purchase of marijuana at New England Treatment Access. 14 months later, and there's still traffic detail and a line of customers. What we do see is over 2,000 people a day who do come to NETA. Who knew? <laughs> but we're so glad that there are so many people that have found NETA and continue to find NETA. Mayor Narkowitz happy to report that since the opening, the city has only seen a positive impact. In terms of increased crime or traffic nightmares, police and city officials tell Western Mass News there have been none of those negative experiences. I think we are seeing some um, spin-off in terms of you know people not only coming um, but staying, eating in our restaurants, uh, staying in our hotels, um, and so that's all to the good for the city. Four and a half miles away in East Hampton, INSA began their adult use sales about a month after NETA on December 22nd, 2018. Things are pretty consistent. Obviously, we've seen a slight decline as other operators have opened up, uh, but nothing too drastic. Um, so it's been pretty consistent. Uh, December, I think, was one of our, our best months ever. One of the big outcomes many were anxious to see how much the cities would benefit from offering recreational sales. Both cities have a 3% local option excise tax and a 3% host community impact fee. East Hampton Mayor LaChapelle says they've received about $410,000 for the first three quarters. The money goes right into the city's general fund and is used to address increased costs, like filling potholes, repaving, and adding safety signs around the city. Cannabis tax, it, we have no baseline. Okay. It's gone up and down. Um, there's certainly been an increase every quarter uh, because it's new, uh, but the increase has been inconsistent and I'm you know we're very careful about what we do with that money in our budget and what the projections are we're very very conservative in Northampton the city has collected four quarters of the adult use revenue two of those quarters in 2019 and two in the current fiscal year for the local revenue excise tax the city has seen more than 1.96 million dollars and with the host community impact fee more than 1.848 million. I don't think anyone knew what to expect. And so any new local revenue that's not tied to property taxes are a good and positive revenue for the city. Mayor Narkowitz says they saw a slight decline during Governor Baker's vaping ban, but they've still been able to use the additional funds for roadway improvements, added sidewalks and street paving, specifically around NETA where police are still out seven days a week moving traffic. We do rent parking spaces in addition to our big parking lot. And what the police do is to ensure that the traffic moves quickly and that's why they're still here. Both mayors and dispensaries say things are projected to be good as they continue recreational sales in 2020. But more dispensaries are applying to offer retail sales. NETA and INSA are currently the only two open in each city. So as more open up, the next big question is how that will affect market share in the region and throughout the Commonwealth. For Western Mass News, I'm Caroline Powers.